Hi, this is Donnie Love from Big Jib Productions. Join us as we follow the lives of four dynamic and charismatic real estate agents in this exciting and competitive industry. Welcome to Open House NL. When I first started, my, I was on a 40-60 split. I'm on 60-40, which is like 55-45 to start the year. Right, yeah. but, but we, mine never we went were, up. no. Oh, really? We, we oh, stayed at 40% of whatever we made. That was tuition. I did 62 <laughs> deals that year on 40%. I was number one in Atlantic Canada. That's fine. And I made 40% <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm Amanda Lee and I work at Hanley Realty. Ever since I was probably around 12 years old, uh, I started designing stuff for my father. He works, uh, he has a print company. I, I had a passion for real estate, uh, even though that was my job um, on the design side. And I helped many people move back to Newfoundland or move from house to house. I would help them find their house and look at the houses and all the questions and stuff that I would ask. Um, so after the third time, helping one particular girl. She had called me as I was sitting at my computer designing a brochure. Uh, she called and she said, Amanda, I really, I really want this house on Old Broad Cove Road. And at the end of it, she said, uh, Amanda, you're my realtor, so you better hurry up and go get your license because if I lose this house, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, and that's when it kind of clicked and I went, well, why am I not in real estate? And do you want to cut up your apple? I just washed it up. No, it's over at the sink. Tristan Lee, he is 18 years old, unbelievably. I have a legal adult for a child, and it's uh, it's been hard to get over this year because now that he actually started university, it's, you feel old, you feel old. Uh, my middle child is Hunter, he's 10 years old. He is the clown of the family. Our Hi. resident prankster Hi. is Hunter Joseph Lee. No, put it back. Hunter. Jada is only eight, but she is the real boss of the family. <laughs> She's very smart. Um, brilliant girl, loves to sing and dance. This is the quietest you guys have ever been for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> they're usually Dad, talking Dad's away, just so you know. Um, but they're all, they're, they're really good kids. I've been really lucky. They're very independent. A lot of times Hunter will get up and he'll make us breakfast. His specialty is omelets. He's very good at it. And his dad taught him to do that. His dad's a really good cook, so we're lucky. My name is Wally Lane. I'm from St. John's. I originally grew up in the Goulds. Um, I've lived in St. John's most of my life. My day usually runs in a relatively consistent way. I, I like to start my day in a kind of slow, quiet manner uh, and kind of get it going. Uh, typically, uh, you know, get up in the morning, uh, kind of uh, have a glass of juice, get myself together. I really do very little until coffee uh, comes into my life. Uh, so one of the first things I always do is put coffee on, uh, put the dog out for the morning, and then, uh, you know, really it's typically into my phone and, and my iPad with email and telephone calls. Um, it's a rare morning that I'm not having some sort of correspondence by 8 o'clock or 8.30. Um, so usually breakfast is spent in front of a computer or kind of with the phone in my hand. I became a realtor kind of in a happenstance kind of way. I had a friend who had a connection and got me a job in sales. I had never worked sales before and I didn't really think I was going to be very good at it. Uh, I ended up being quite good at it and uh, within a few years um, I had met some other people who were in the real estate industry and 
they thought that my skill set would lend itself well to real estate and they uh, suggested I give it a try and uh, I thought yeah sure why not I, I'd give it a shot and see how it worked out and uh, sure enough ten years later here I still am. Uh, my name is Sarah Elliott. I am a realtor with Hanlon Realty and celebrating my 10th year. My name is uh, Andrew Collingwood. I just finished my second year license, but I guess thoroughly practicing I'll be at two years around May because I was part-time for the most part. I could count on one hand the yeah. number of properties I've sold from an open, from an open house. house. Oh, so even do like mean, they came to Do you mean sell that house? Yes. Yes, yeah, sell that house. Okay. To yeah, stand yeah. in a house and do an open house in that house yeah. and yeah. have a a, a, a potential client come through on that Sunday I'm there and mm. actually follow through and buy the house, very yeah. rare. Half of the time no one comes through the door. Mm. The other half of the time when people come through the door there's a lot of tire kickers, there's a lot of people just coming in to look at the house. Well, I know I was at a webinar the other day and the guy's one big pillar of his entire marketing is mega open houses. So mm -hmm. not once did he mention <coughs> the fact that he might sell that house. It was all about getting for 90 him. people through, getting their contact information, following through with them, yep. showing up presents the product to pick up business. You know, a, a really interested buyer most of the time is interested in having a private viewing with their spouse and their realtor and they can have, you know, a very open discussion about the property. Uh, my name's uh, Andrew Collingwood. I'm a property advisor or a member of the Association of Realtors of Newfoundland Labrador and the Canadian Real Estate Association. My past background actually I originally started in customer service uh, with a few telecommunications companies and then from there into commercial real estate and commercial real estate leasing and then now kind of rolled it into property. I, I call myself a property advisor. So basically it's just it's to me it's my sales style like I'm not gonna take you through a home and tell you Oh my God, look at these grand windows. Like I'll point out the nice features and how it suits your lifestyle for what you've told me you're looking for. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna find out to the best of my knowledge what it's worth and you know how good of a deal or what kind of deal we can put together, what's fair. You know, I'm gonna help you put the clauses together to protect yourself, make sure everything you need is in place. We are going to my office to print off some data sheets for the open house that I'm actually gonna be doing. It's a bullet, right? Uh, the down payment on this house will only be $24,995. I might be able to save you $25 on that. Andrew Collingwood. Oh, uh, 6 Sequoia Street. It's a beautiful two apartment in Southlands. Actually, we're going to be there from 2 to 4 today. Are you going to stop by? Make sure the heat's going. Who's going to be busy today? You can never really tell. And like I was mentioning to you guys the other day, the price on land and one of the things they charge you for is the southern exposure has a specific dollar value. Greenbelt, specific dollar value. Rear yard drive through access, specific dollar value. So, I mean, if you looked at this land developer, I think they did 300 or so lots. You can really see their price sheet and what they charge for. They never show up at first, they like to come right around the end. And from what I'd say, I'd say there's probably five or six down that way. So we're probably on the back of the loop because there's none others on this street. So chances are we're probably going to be busy till about three o'clock. This program has been made possible by the help of our fine sponsor, Islander RV. Experience the difference. Hi, I'm Chris from Housemaster Home Inspections. We all want to keep heat in the home, but proper attic ventilation is very important. It helps keep your roofing materials from premature deterioration, mold growth, and ice dams. This when I bought my first house, it was pretty much the only one I could afford. <laughs> and it was um, how I got into real estate, actually, um, to be quite honest, because I didn't know I didn't have to pay asking and I paid asking and my realtor didn't tell me any different. Really? I offered full price, sat down, reviewed the house, um, signed the contract. I was 22 years old, single mom. 
Didn't have the first clue about buying a house or what I should do or anything up until that point. I signed a contract. Hello, that is Danielle in. Hey, hey, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Um, listen, I got a client coming in now in a few minutes. Yeah. Gonna do kind of a buyer interview with them, and I want to know if you have some time, maybe in the next half an hour or so, that I you do. can come over. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me Thank to you. give you a text or just bring one over? Uh, you can actually just bring one over because I don't have any one booked in. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thanks so much. Uh, is uh, Peter in? I think he's in his office. Okay, yeah. great. Thanks. Hey, got a quick second? Yeah, sure. Um, listen, I wanted to touch base on Barb and see if you were able to... My name is Sarah Elliott. Um, I'm a realtor at Hanlon Realty. This is my 10th official year as an independent realtor. I started at Hanlon back in 2003 when it was Coldwell Banker Hanlon. And over the years, it has transitioned into Hanlon Realty. I've worked at Remax Realty Specialists, and now I'm back home at uh, Hanlon Realty, which is where I feel I truly um, get the most of what I really feel real estate is all about. Every company is different, especially in real estate, because um, each group, I guess, is what the company is made up of. And at Hanlon Realty, what I really like about it is because it's only a small group of people. We have less than 50 agents, and it's the largest independent uh, real estate company in Newfoundland. It really makes you feel that you can go to work and work with your colleagues as opposed to, technically, they're your competition as well. If you do deals together, you definitely build, develop a rapport. I think we've yeah, done one, we've but done like one come together. close on a couple. Yeah, no, I mean, you definitely figure out, I've only had it two years, you figure out who you like to work with. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of go through cycles of doing business in certain areas. I might have a season where I end up doing a lot of deals in CBS. Yeah. And if that happens, you kind of, there's a certain number of realtors who do a lot of business in that area, yeah. and you do a lot of business with those realtors and you get to know them. And those neighborhoods go I would say out of the four of us, yeah. though, myself and Sarah have the most dealings together, mainly yeah. because we work at Hanlon together. So every Tuesday morning, we get to have our meetings in our caravans and whatnot with the office tour. So um, aside from deals, even uh, bantering back and forth, questions with real estate and stuff like that, we we talk it out a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need to talk it out We do. <laughs>
going around laying everything around and I sat in them. I didn't even realize they swiveled until I sat down. So they're quite comfortable. I also find their baby furniture really nice. Um, the way they stage the baby's room upstairs and now that there's more options for cribs and all that here, it's really nice to know. I didn't realize and, and having them local, of course, it's always better to buy local if you can. And the chaise, the chaise in the bedroom. Nice and comfortable, great reading spot. This house has so many amazing features. I love the nine foot ceilings, um, gives a great air of space. Uh, the finishing touches that this builder puts on his work and the, and the quality that he has uh, is you know, really hard to find. In fact, this subdivision uh, is one of the very few subdivisions you'll find where every person loves the builder and loves his quality and speaks very highly of him. So that, that speaks a test to itself. In the master bedroom, you have uh, such a great living space. You have your own sitting area. If you do your yoga or whatever in the mornings, you got that space so you don't have to take all your stuff and run down to the basement uh, like some of us do. Uh, so it's really nice to have that built in. Your walk-in closet, all the custom cabinetry is amazing. And that ensuite. The ensuite with all the heated tiles and uh, the shower where it actually has a, a spot for you to be able to get dried off in the shower and the separate toilet room and having your own sink is, is important too in my opinion. If I'm on the phone and I'm discussing home inspection issues with a ha on a house or if I'm on the phone with a builder or someone who's building a new home construction mm. or talking about aspects of the construction, you start talking about uh, you know how HRV units are installed and how the heat pump is going to go in and how the ducting is going to be and is it a six ton heat pump or an eight ton heat pump and people sometimes get a little lost in that. My girlfriend works at the bank and every down the street, like, Andrew, there's a, someone in my office, they said they have uh, like a for sale by an owner. I was like, oh, Fisbo. Fisbo. Yeah. Fisbo. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, what? So the next time they like driving down the street and sees a private sale, she's like, Fisbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got that one. Yeah. yeah. Or the PCDS. PC oh, I always find so They funny. filmed yeah. a PCDS the other day. Oh, yeah, okay. and I, I, I hate saying it slowly. I'm, it's a property condition <laughs> disclosure statement. statement. It's PCDS. Yeah. Done. They just yeah. say what they Clean. know about the place. Like, yeah. yeah. Somewhat of an affidavit. Yeah. <laughs>for lack of a better word, an affidavit the homeowner signs uh, attesting to the structures of the home, the electrical, the plumbing, the environmental, to the best of their knowledge. So this is basically an affidavit or a statement from the homeowners stating the condition of the structures to the best of their knowledge during their ownership. Okay. All right. So if someone had some issues with their home, like a leaky roof, and they were trying to hide it and um, sell their home without telling one, when they fill out this form, they're effectively saying to the best of their knowledge. So if you can go and then prove that they had a roofer there three times in the last two months, you have damages. I mean, you could have a property and you could have a right of way where the municipality says it's a walking path. A covenant might be, the person sold it might say, you have to have a Victorian style home on this property oh, okay. and it's attached to the deed in the land. One of the hardest parts for a lot of people is finding a property they actually want to put an offer on. And in this market right now is a buyer's market, but not only is it a buyer's market, it's primarily a buyer's market because of saturation of inventory. So there's a lot to see. Um, so, I mean, he's very happy with the home. He wasn't very picky, mind you, but he wasn't very aggressively looking either. Are there any written documentations or agreements regarding the above? Does not apply. Perfect. And their additional statements? None. God love them. So if you could initial, <coughs> mm -hmm. saying we've gone through this. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. um, and I got your copy of the offer here as well. When will we get uh, access to the crawl space, just to have a look down there? We'll do that during the home inspection. Okay. Uh, my name is Justin Fong, and I work down at Kitty Bitty Brewery. I've been with Andrew for about 
three or four months now. He's been my real estate agent, and we've looked at a few places and uh, just found one recently on Alexander Street. The house that I'm looking at, the financing ended up falling through on it um, for whoever had it locked down. And uh, they had a house contingent on the sale of their home. So then we came in and viewed it an hour after the financing fell through, and they accepted our offer right away. Trucking along. Sounds good. I'll talk to you later this afternoon? Yes. All right, sounds good. See ya. I grew up with Andrew, um, and he sucks as a friend, but he's great as a real estate agent. <laughs> it went uh, really smooth. I mean, we, we saw it two days ago. Uh, we're waiting on the inspection now, and if that goes well, then I'll be moved in in about two weeks. Wow. That's great. Well, fingers crossed. Congratulations. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. I've been uh, a licensed realtor, full-time realtor, for almost 11 years now. I started in sales a couple of years before I started in real estate and, as I said, kind of accidentally fell into it. The first 10 years has certainly been very interesting. Uh, it's been an education, there's no doubt about that. The next five years I'd certainly like to uh, continue that learning process and continue to build um, with the, uh, the knowledge and skill set that we've developed. We've got some stuff that's happening that's really, you know, industry leading. Uh, I'd really like to see some of that come to fruition and, uh, and bring some of these great products to kind of the local clientele. When people ask me how much I work, I always tell them to, you, you just need to ask the spouse or, or <laughs> yeah. you know, or ask partner. Ask my family. <laughs> or partner or family of, of someone who's a realtor. They'll tell you how much, <laughs> you know, how many, again, how many evenings you are working, how many suppers you either miss or you, you know, I eat supper 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah. several nights a week you know how many Sundays you're not around with the family uh, or w with your friends because you know you're doing open houses um, you know we do a lot of work we work uh, a tremendous number of hours and you know the reality is we're entrepreneurs mm -hmm. you know my future is determined by the amount of effort I put in and the um, success rate I have with my clients mm -hmm. if I put in the effort and I'm successful with my clients I'll be successful Classical. Modern. Contemporary. With. Or without windows. Sand. Claystone. Mocha. It's a girl I got.